In today's episode, you will learn how to control a servo motor using Arduino. Servo motors are great devices that can turn to a specified position. This episode is all about how to achieve smooth movement and accurate positioning. This tutorial covers number one, how to make an external power supply for a servo motor. Number two, interfacing. Number three, programming. And finally, number four, testing. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this tutorial are number one, Arduino. Number two, a servo motor. The one I'm using is MG996R. This is a high torque servo motor. Number three, five by seven centimeter vero board. Number four, 7805 voltage regulator. The left leg is the input, the middle leg is the ground, and the rightmost leg is the output. Number 5. 25 volt and 470 microfarad capacitor. The longer leg is the positive, and the shorter leg is the ground. Number 6. DC female socket. And finally, number 7. Some connection wires. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Your servo may behave erratically and you may find that this only happens when the Arduino is plugged into certain USB ports. This is because the servo draws quite a lot of power, especially as the motor is starting up and this sudden high demand can be enough to drop the voltage on the Arduino board so that it resets itself. The same thing happened to me. My Arduino was resetting and I wasn't able to achieve the smooth movement and accurate positioning. I solved this problem by making an external power supply for my servo motor. Let's have a look at the circuit diagram. This schematic is designed in Katesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. This is the DC female power jake. This is where you connect your 12 volt adapter or a battery. This input voltage should be greater than 6 volts and less than the maximum input voltage of 7805 voltage regulator. The recommended voltages are 9 volts to 18 volts. In my case, I will be using 12 volts. A 25 volt 470 microfarad capacitor is connected between the output and ground pins. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with the supply wire of the servo motor. The ground wire of the servo motor is connected with the regulator ground and also with the Arduino's ground. This is the final circuit. The components are soldered as per the circuit diagram. The supply wire of the servo motor, which is the red wire, is connected with the output leg of the 7805 voltage regulator. And the brown wire, which is the ground wire, is connected with the metal leg of the 7805 voltage regulator. And a 470 microfarad capacitor is connected between the output and ground. This is the ground wire and should be connected with the Arduino's ground. The yellow wire is the signal wire and it can be connected with any PWM pin of the Arduino. In my case, I will connect this with pin number 3 of the Arduino. Now this servo motor is ready and can be used with Arduino. Connect the yellow wire with pin number 3. Connect the power supply ground wire with the Arduino's ground. That's it. Now let's start the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you include the servo library. H include servo.h. Servo my servo define the servo object. As you know, my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the white setup and white loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Using the attach function, you can define the Arduino pin to which the servo is connected. In my case, I'm using pin number 3. 
myservo dot th three. Then starts a wide loop function. The numbers inside the parentheses represents the angle. And the purpose of these two for loops is to present how fast you can go from 0 to 180 by changing the delay. In this for loop, I'm using 20 milliseconds delay, while in this for loop, I'm using 5 milliseconds. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. As you can see how smoothly it moves from 0 to 180 in my upcoming tutorials, I'll be using this servo motor with buttons, infrared sensors, ultrasonic sensor, RFID module, GSM, Bluetooth radio frequency and computer applications. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.